Hi, this video demonstrates creating agent installer job using Unified Agent Installer Wizard. The Unified Agent Installer is a wizard that steps you through the entire process needed to install agents on multiple agent list devices. It creates following objects, which are all necessary to install agents. Agent bundle, remote host authentication, remote host authentication rules, agent installer job. To run the Unified Agent Installer, select the root servers folder and right click and select Unified Agent Installer. Or you can also select File, Unified Agent Installer. In the names field, provide a prefix that is prepended to the name of all the objects that Unified Agent Installer creates and then click Next. Here, select the platforms on which you want the agents to be installed. I am selecting Windows and Linux. Select a folder where Unified Agent Installer will create agent bundles. Click Next. This panel lets you map an agent installer package to each platform on which agents should be installed. Make sure you have all the required agent installer packages added to the depot folder prior to running the unified agent installer job. Select each platform and click Edit. Navigate to the agent installer package to use when installing an agent on the selected platform. Once you have selected installer packages for all the platforms, click Next. This is Agent Bundle Configuration Panel. You can define configuration file settings for each platform on which agent should be installed. If you do not make any changes for a platform, agents are assigned default values for configuration files. I will not make any changes and keep the default configurations. This panel specifies the communication protocol and the automation principle needed to authenticate to a remote non-Windows host on which agent has not yet been installed. The automation principle provides the credential needed for authentication on the no remote host. You can select any of the protocol which suits you, SSH, SSH plus sudo, SSH plus SU. I am using SSH for the demo. The default port used by SSH for communication is port 22. You can select an existing automation principle or create a new one. Please provide a username and password and then click next. This panel specifies the communication protocol and the automation principle needed to authenticate to a remote Windows host on which an agent has not yet been installed. You can select an existing automation principle or create a new one. Also, after creating a new automation principle, we need to select a live Windows server where PXEC is installed. Once selected, click Next. The Remote Host Authentication Rule Panel lets you create rules that match remote host authentication definition with agentless devices. Click Add to open the new rule wizard. Create a rule definition here. Now select a remote host authentication for the rule. You can create more than one rule. You can use icons on this panel to rearrange their order. The agent installer job tries remote host authentication rules in the order you establish here. Click next when finished. The agent installer job options panel specifies actions that can occur after an agent is installed on a server. You can select to update server properties, update configuration objects registration and push agent ACLs. You can also select to preserve staging area on failure to analyze the failure. Also, select a folder where the agent installer job will get created. Once done, click Next. 
Here, you can select the required servers to install the agents and also if you want to run the agent installer job immediately created after the unified agent installer. Click next. This is the summary page. You can review all the details of the objects that were created using the unified agent installer here. Click finish, mentor. Thank you for watching this video.